Today, we're making a basic red sauce. I've got some onions here, and we're gonna go ahead and just put them in with a little bit of oil, and we're gonna add a little bit of garlic as well. We're gonna use some red wine here, and we're gonna let this wine cook off until there's almost no liquid left. And what that's gonna do is gonna concentrate those intense grape flavors, that wonderful flavor of the wine. And when it comes to wine, don't use anything in your cooking that you wouldn't have a glass of, because that's very, very important. So we're gonna season as we do because that builds the flavors. You see me use a lot of salt when I'm cooking. People say, well, hey, hold on, doc. You're a cardiologist, how can you just use salt? Well, it turns out that when we use salt in our cooking, we don't add the sodium that is so detrimental. Where we get 70% of our dietary sodium, you know where? It's in the processed foods that you eat. Only about 5% comes when we add it to our food. And when we do that, we season it and it enhances our enjoyment. So very, very important to season, to build those layers as we cook. You don't have to substitute the salts. Just use a good salt, like a good quality sea salt. Now, once this is cooked down, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add some chicken broth. If you wanna keep this vegetarian, you can add some vegetable broth as well. I'm gonna add some heirloom tomatoes. I like to get those fresh. I know they've been sweetened on the vine. And this is my favorite. You've got, if you're making an Italian sauce, you absolutely have to add some San Marzano tomatoes. Now, San Marzano tomatoes grow on the side of Mount Vesuvius. And it's something about the volcanic soil, something about that type of tomato that gives it this really rich, unique flavor that's just unreproducible anywhere else in the world, even if you grow a San Marzano type plant. Why? Because real food, like real wine, has its own terroir, the French word for that place that it comes from. And this comes from Naples, and it's gonna transport us to Naples via our taste buds. Now, we brought our sauce up to a boil. Now we've got it down to a simmer. So the last thing we have to do as it reduces is we're gonna add a bouquet garni. It's a very simple collection of herbs. I've used some parsley, some thyme, some oregano, and a bay leaf. You can add some other fresh herbs that you like. By doing it this way, it allows us to get the flavors of the herbs in there without necessarily having bits of green and twigs of thyme uh, getting stuck between our teeth. So this assembly now allows me to drop this in and I'm gonna go ahead and just use that tail and loop that around right through here like that and it'll make it very easy to fish it out at the end. Little chef trick for you. What we've done is allowed our sauce to reduce down by about a third or so. We've removed our bouquet garni. And so what we want to do as a final step is with an immersion blender or in small batches, work carefully because it's very hot, in a regular blender, we're going to go ahead and puree this to a nice, smooth consistency. Mm -hmm. 